It is an incredible honor <clears throat> to be able to address such a wonderful gathering of people who have come together for what could be considered the national commemoration of the Balfour Centenary. So we all deserve to have a round of applause for our interest, our passion, our commitment to the same ideals in the spirit of Balfour. So thank you. For To the members of Knesset who are in attendance, Todashe Egate and Todashe Temitano, to everyone from the local community, and I understand that many have come from far away. Lord Balfour was one of many, and the Balfour letter were, was one of many, many correspondences between leaders around the world at a time when history was turning the world around, land was being redistributed. Some of us know the history more than others, and for those who are interested in learning, of course, we are pleased to have been able to provide for you a resource, a booklet that I want to make sure everybody also has an opportunity to have, because we are only as good as the knowledge that we can pass on to future generations. In 1917, after Balfour, Balfour's letter was issued, it was actually only on November 9th that the Times in London issued the public recognition, and it was the first time that actually it was called a declaration with a little d, that it was declared that His Majesty's government was going to support the Jewish nationalist dream. That support has continued, yet it has waned in some ways. And yet, in the months that followed, there were celebrations in community after community. Even for 25 years afterwards, there were communities that held parades through the centers of their streets. There are gorgeous photos of the celebrations in Toronto. Actually, right afterwards, in the Savoy in London, there was a massive gala. And that's the gala that we honor even here today. I want to remind us all that, yes, there are many speeches that can be given, many words we can hear, facts that can be transmitted, but it is passion. It is passion that led Balfour from his first meeting with Weizmann in 1906 to the declaration 11 years later, and actually onward in 1925 when he was there at the lay laying of the cornerstone at Hebrew University with the women of Hadassah. It was passion who led the Zionist leadership year in and year out, inheriting the passion of the Chobavet Tzion, the lovers of Zion, who really only could dream long before even Herzl said, if it is, a dr it is no dream, if, if you will it. So today, I simply want to thank you on behalf of the Israel Forever Foundation and the Balfour Initiative, which seeks one thing. We hope to inspire understanding, knowledge, respect, pride, and passion in the many steps that helped us achieve the statehood that we so much cherish today and for a hundred years of the past and a hundred years from the future and onward. May we all carry that passion on to future generations so that Am Yisrael can always be Am Yisrael Chai. Thank you so much.